Okay, okay, okay. So, let's state the obvious. We're in a global pandemic and I'm bored out of my freaking mind. So, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, in the spirit of staying at home and self-isolation, I thought, what better way to provide you guys some stuff that is worth it while we're staying at home. So I wrote it in my nifty little notebook and this is foreshadowing because I will mention this later. First one is these Lululemon running shorts. Now, <clears throat> if I do say so myself, I am a Lululemon fanatic. What do you think I was gonna say? They're such a thin, breathable fabric that I'm not finding that I get that chafing. Um, for, for the most part, I feel like they barely write up. And even if they do write up, honestly, it's not like I even feel it because they're just so lightweight. And due to COVID, not, not making light of the situation, but it's just facts. A lot of companies, due to the accommodations of not being able to go in store, they're offering free shipping right now. So if you wanted to buy these shorts, it's not saying that I'm encouraging you to you should um, go go to the description and see. Uh, just take a little peruse for yourself. The next one is. Um, did I write? I wrote this. Okay. The next one I put is a dog. I do think that is sort of a stay-at-home essential. Um, now that I do have a dog, I, I don't personally have one. It's my brother's girlfriend's dog. But I can see why a dog is really a man's best friend. Um, this dog has provided me so much happiness in just the little body. I can't imagine having like two. I'd probably explode from happiness. Okay, no, but that's not practical advice to give you guys. So if you guys don't have access to a dog or you don't have a dog or you're allergic, I, you know, whatever the case may be, I would, my, the sentiment with having a dog is that it really encourages you to go outside, to take a walk, to walk your dog. and. I've probably found that to be hand in hand. I think the reason why I feel so overjoyed having this dog is because I'm encouraged to go outdoors more and go on walks more, go on runs, go on little hikes. And that's overall just really good for your mental well-being and just, you know, really just letting yourself get fresh air and vitamin D in the sun. Make use of it and really take, take a walk. Take a lunch break walk. Take an afternoon walk. Take a sunset walk. Take all four. Um, the next one I have is good quality coffee. I found that just the, oof, my morning routine is just something I look forward to now that I have some good quality coffee. So the beans that I've recently been loving and raving and I got my whole family on, but um, they were having a, once again, coronavirus kind of accommodation sale. So um, they were offering their beans for 20% off, I believe, with free shipping. A good cup of coffee really can set off the day and for me I've cr sort of created this trigger that every time I make a good cup of coffee that's when it's go time like I know that it's time to get studying or it's time to get focused when I have a good cup of coffee in hand and not only that it creates just this really good routine that I have in the morning that I now make my coffee and that kind of starts my day so um, I'm not I'm not really encouraging you guys to drink caffeine or drink coffee if you're not a coffee person. This is something that has worked for me and I really like a good cup of coffee and I'm willing to now splurge on those coffee beans because it just really sets off my mood on a really good day and I hate to put so much value and so much weight into a cup of coffee in the mornings but I depend on it. My next point is uh, a Chemex. So I've neglected my Chemex. I've I've had a Bodum Chemex for like the longest time and I've neglected it because I just usually do single serving coffee. But now that I'm home, I'm now a barista every morning. But that, that doesn't bother me. I'm just glad that I can introduce good coffee to everybody in my family. So the Chemex has become great, a great tool for me to um, deliver happiness in the mornings. I like that also my Chemex comes with a metal or reusable filter thing. So rather than doing the one-time use um, paper filters, I now just use the reusable metal one. And then I just clean it off, wash it off in the washer, washer, what? Wash it off in the sink and then it's good to go. But yeah, I like that this Chemex has more options for serving like three to four to five people. So rather than just making my single serving with the drip, I now use the Chemex and it's just been really convenient and I like it. 
Alrighty, so the next one is not a tangible thing, but it's something that I suggest to you to get part of your morning routine. I guess we're kind of on this morning routine little spiel. So it starts off with a good cup of coffee, using your Chemex and good coffee beans. And then usually what I do in the mornings is I spend a good hour in my mornings just finding like a little nook or a little area in my backyard that just gives me a sense of peace. I like being outdoors, as you can say, see, I like did a whole spiel about taking a walk outside, but truly I think to have that time just for that meditative state or just that self-reflection state, whether it be every morning, every other morning, maybe it's even at night for you, I think that's extremely crucial, especially during these times where we're just kind of self-isolated or kind of just, you know, cooped up. I think it's really important to have times of journaling and just self-reflection or even just like, I don't know, just maybe talking to yourself, maybe talk, maybe FaceTiming your friend outside. Just, just a time where you can be really in tune with yourself. That kind of goes into my next point where um, it's journaling. So journaling has always been a big habit of mine, but if not, it has grown exponentially my writing has grown exponentially since being in quarantine. So I have a bunch of journals and um, honestly, it's half the time, like, I don't know what I'm writing, but I think it's just the, the idea of just releasing yourself. It's almost like catharsis, like whatever you're feeling in the moment, just write it down. And um, I can assure you, you feel like a heavy, heaviness lifted off of you, or it's even nice to write about some accomplishments, some praises. and. In, and then seeing like maybe years back. I have like journals from like six, seven years ago and I sometimes read them. They're kind of cringy sometimes, but it's cool. It's cool to see your mindset and just what you're struggling with or what you were owning from back then. So yeah, I have journals. I, I write everything in my journals. It's not just like my diary. It's also my to-do list, my YouTube ideas list. So my next at-home essential is a book by Tara, Tara, Tara Westover called Educated and I think everybody and their mom knows about this book and I'm surprised I haven't jumped on this book way earlier. The stuff that this woman had to endure through at such a young age and just to see the progression of how she was able to overcome a lot of the setbacks just from that her family set up for her, I think it's just an amazing feat. It's like my small complaints or my small inconveniences or you know, just like first world problems, I think of, wow, if this girl can endure through all of that and still come out triumphant, I have no right to complain. Not to say that there's any comparison. I mean, I would really, really, really suggest this book and I am no person that really enjoys like magical realism or I don't even really enjoy fiction books. So I do think I have a bias towards this book because it's a memoir, so it's based off of true events. But I can imagine even somebody that likes fiction books, you'll really enjoy this book and you'll find a lot of value from it. And my last stay at home essential, I guess, is these apps, Strava and Habit Share. And this is purely because I think when you're obviously in self isolation, it's hard to stay accountable for a lot of things. So working out has always been a really big part of my life. And I would hope that even despite not being able to get access to gyms, to climbing gyms, I'll still keep it up. So something that has been helping me a lot is just accountability fitness apps. So there's one that I've been using called Habit Share and I've been using it for years and it's not exclusively for fitness, it's just more for building and developing habits. But um, I've revisited and re -love, or rekindled my love for this app and basically all it is is you input whatever habits you want to get better at and then you can invite your friends to share and see your progress on it and then they can likewise share their habits with you too. And then basically on a day-to-day -day basis, you can either check it off if you completed your habit, X if you didn't complete the habit. And you know, there's no penalty or anything like that. It's just, I think the visual element of seeing like, oh wow, in a seven day week, like I did five out of seven days of my habit. And I think that's super cool. And not only that, with the whole accountability, you can see what your other friends are doing too. So if they're keeping up with their habits and if they are, it might encourage you to keep up with your habits as well. And then the next app, the next one is a fitness app and it's called Strava and it's more for, um, it's more for like running and I believe uh, swimming and biking, but I only use it strictly for running. And it's really cool because you just track your progress. It has like an internal GPS. So whenever you're on a run, you can just press the start button and it will record your whole run. It'll record your pace, it'll record um, your distance and it'll also record the time spent or time elapsed running. And it's cool, it's just like with any other community. You can check other people's courses or you can check your friends' progress or runs and see what they did or where they're running. And it's just overall super cool, super encouraging, and just 
it feels like you're in it together. Okay, so this was, as you can tell, just really random, but I, I don't know, I, I really hope that if there's one thing you can take out of this, if it's the, the Habit Share app, or if it's a new recipe, or if it's the book, let me know. I don't know, I just feel like this is something that has really got gotten me through this time of quarantine, and trust me, it's been difficult, but um, if I have introduced anything that has made you happy, um, if you want to get a dog now, I mean, go for it. Get a quarantine dog. I hope this random spontaneous video found you well. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for tagging along and just watching me still. I'm gonna conclude the video here, so yeah, bye! See you guys in my next video!